we started here where uh, he passed my guard. And we always talk about never turn your back. I always want to turn in and get a guard back, and that's correct. Because if I turn away without a defense, then yeah, I'm going to give up position, back, back choke, it's all bad. So if I am going to turn away, I want to have a strategy where I'm defending against the choke up here. I've got my elbow tucked nice and tight, defending against the under. So from here, if he's got, uh, he's got access to my back, he's passed my guard, but he hasn't consolidated. Now I want to wait for his right hand to come over. If his right hand comes over, that's what I want to utilise my underhook. I'm going to bridge up and shut forward. Once he's played forward, I step away, I start to roll through. This left hand is also blocking. As I come through, I want to stay low, low, low. I'm all the way through and make that space back in to a close guard. It's in this transition that I make the space that I'm able to re-guard. Let's look at that again. It might be that I end up with an open guard or a half guard, but from here I've got to wait for that right hand comes over. I can hold his leg up too to help, but I want to make sure that he plays forward. This you the chance to bridge away, start folding through, keeping low, keeping low. This might come through to a half guard, that's fine too. This is all good as long as I've got this space to escape and avoid the back tape or the cross face underhooks of side control. Alright, time.